the Drink Tahoe Tap campaign started, we started that in 2000, late 2007. At the time, it seemed like people didn't have a real appreciation for the great tap water that we do have at Lake Tahoe. So um, the Food and Water Watch was doing a campaign called Take Back the Tap. And so we kind of jumped in on the same sort of campaign. It was very easy to be able to say, drink the ta water when you're here at Tahoe, whether you're a visitor or you're a local. Um, the quality of the drinking water is so high that there really is no need to be drinking bottled water at the lake. Um, part of my work with Incline Village GID also includes running the community recycling programs. And so I have a real awareness of how much people were drinking bottled water and how much um, the community was having to work towards a better recycling program to deal with that type of material. So it was a very easy pairing of the two ideas on a source water protection and an appreciation of municipal water level as well as a waste reduction level. At events we offer a drinking water taste test where we'll have three containers with bottled water, it's bottled water is one, and then two local tap waters are in the other two containers but they're unmarked. And people do a taste test similar to a, a wine tasting and the majority of the time, it's about 80% of the time, people will pick a tap water over a bottled water. We are very blessed to have really great drinking water here at Lake Tahoe. It's snow melt and rain melt. It's captured it in a self-enclosed basin. The only influences that really affect it are airborne um, particulates or contaminants, things that are washed into Lake Tahoe during storm events, and the more recent uh, threats are the invasive species that have really been hitting the media. One thing it's very important for people to know about for their water is to be able to appreciate it. And um, there's a fact that's been published that 40% of most bottled water is actually tap water that's reprocessed. If you're buying a spring water or a mineral water, that's a slightly different source rather than just a purified drinking water, which, as I said, is, can quite often be just a purified tap water. Pretty much no matter where you live in the United States, um, your water, if you're, co if you're coming from a fairly large population area, your water is regulated by the Environmental Protection Agency. Bottled water is not regulated by the Environmental Protection Agency. It's regulated by the Food and Drug Administration, and at this point they don't follow the same standards. If you're not real sure about your tap water, there are some things you can do. You don't have to be buying bottled water. Um, you can invest for about $250, you can invest in a reverse osmosis system that will go under your sink. A reverse osmosis system is one of the highest levels of purification you can get. It's usually a three filter chamber and it will take out all kinds of contaminants, um, organic contaminants, inorganic contaminants, and any taste or odor issues. If you have fairly good drinking water but you still think you taste some chlorine and you don't like exactly how it tastes, you can go to the store and buy a $25 Brita water filter which is a carbon block and that will remove 99% of those um, organic uh, contaminant taste issues for you and also some things like heavy metals. Bottled water does serve a great purpose in some instances. You want to have some in your house or have bottles of water that are set aside in case you have power outages and you can't get your tap water. Um, for people with compromised immune systems, very young people, very old people with immune problems, if you have high levels of contamination in your drinking water to begin with, maybe you do want to have a bottled water. But for the bulk of the population, w bottled water has become a matter of just some sort of convenience. The quality of the water from our local water supply is excellent. Yeah, municipal tap water is regulated by the EPA and in Nevada its uh, primacy is retained by the state of Nevada and the district health department and there are over a hundred regulations that we comply with. There's uh, the Safe Drinking Water Act. Uh, we probably take over 10,000 samples annually to make sure that we're in compliance with the Safe Drinking Water Act. It uh, compares with any bottled water quality that's out there, both for any type of quality comparison and or taste. Um, and our recommendation is bottled bottle water is A-OK -okay for people to drink. It's always a matter of convenience and choice if you choose to choose bottled water, but don't choose it because you don't think the municipal supply is, the quality is not adequate. It's, it's more than adequate. I know everything that's in this water and I drink it myself. So. This plant, the, the Glendale water treatment plant, is a conventional water treatment plant and we add standard chemicals as would any treatment process may use for 
transferring water. We use a, a coagulant chemical to agglomerate particles and settle them out and filter them out to uh, very low levels of particles that leave the plant. And then to disinfect the water prior to leaving, we chlorinate it slightly and maintain a residual throughout the distribution system to prevent any bacterial regrowth to maintain a good fresh quality delivered to all of our customers. Well, some of the environmental impacts, the, one is the total amount of energy it takes to create a gallon of water. Uh, since we treat water in bulk quantities, our cost for water is about $1.58 per thousand gallons. And if you were to buy a gallon of water from a store, you'd probably be paying well over a dollar per gallon. So just the amount of energy it takes to create bottled water, uh, plus including the, the plastic bottle and how it's contained and the transportation moving it around is something that everybody should consider. So to make a, a, re, a plastic water bottle for bottled water, it takes a lot of non-renewable resources such as petroleum. Um, it takes a lot of energy. You think about the actual making of the bottle, um, putting water in it that's not as regulated as our tap water. Um, Putting that water bottles into packaging packages of 24 or whatever, 48, and then putting those packages onto a pallet, driving that pallet up to Costco, you know, Walmart, whatever. All the energy and time that goes into it to pay a dollar for a bottle of water that may not be as clean as what you can get out of your local tap. That it's another thought to think about when you think about buying a bottle of water. It's not just the fact that it's going to take, you know. 750 plus years to degrade or that only 20% of them are actually recycled, but the idea that it's everything that went into actually getting it to you in the first place. The nice thing about stainless steel, it's 100% stainless steal, it's 100% recyclable, um, it, it doesn't leach anything, it's been around for, you know, years and of course the fact that you can remake it into something else and you're not using those resources again to make new ones. Or drink your tap water. If you don't like the taste of tap, you know, you have filtered water bottles now. Um, if you're ever on the go, these actually you can use for hiking. Uh, so stream water, lake water, it even says pool water on it. Uh, but you think about traveling, going through security, not being able to take uh, bottles of water and things like that, you can actually take something like this and, and then fill it on the other side. Uh, know that it's plain. It's a charcoal filter, lasts for six months to a year, depending on how much you need. If you are going to buy bottled water, buy bigger containers and then maybe use something like this, you know, um, it takes less material and less energy to do it. It's convenient. It's very convenient. I have two kids and, you know, there are times, I buy bottled, I have bought bottled water. I think a couple weeks ago I confessed as an eco center that I bought a bottle of soda. I, I think it's just a convenience thing, you know, that somebody just thought, oh, hey, why don't we sell water in a bottle? <laughs> so people always have water and, and you can get it anyway.